hello everyone welcome back to another of fx tutorial and in this video i'm going to show you how to make this type of twist logo animation in adobe after effects so this is the animation we're going to make in this video to make this video i'm going to use after effects and use the logo so let's close this and create a new project so i'm going to click here and rename it to main and duration i'm going to choose 10 second and 30 frame rate per second and then hit ok now let's import our logo you can import your logo by drag and drop it in after effects or you can simply copy your logo from illustrator and then back to after effects here create a new solid and rename it to logo mask then hit ok now if you copy your logo from illustrator just select your logo then edit copy then go to here select this press ctrl v to paste it so your logo mask will be here or if you want to use your logo from your any folder just drag and drop to your after effects then drag it to timeline select this go to layer then select auto dress and then check this apply to the new layer then hit ok so this is your logo mask now you can delete this just delete this also. then you can rename it to logo mask now let's create another new solid and rename it element 3d change its color to black hit ok now you can also uncheck this select this element then go to effect control i am using fx console from video equipment you can download this shortcut script from the link in the description so here search for element apply it then from custom layer select custom task and mask from here select this logo mask we created and then you can close this and click on the send setup so from here click on extrude so this is our logo now go to path resolution and change it to extreme now you can click here and change extrude middle to 2 you can add this now go to presets physics and apply this gold so from here click on this and you can change the reflection color or you can change any color you want so for this logo i'm going to use this kind of color now hit ok let's increase its size so select this again go to scene setup and select this group folder and change its scale to something like this 130 for this logo ok now go to group 1 then go to particle looks then from here go to deform make sure that this enable is checked then go to twist and also check this option now go to phase y so we'll do re rotate it so make sure you're in the first frame then create a keyframe here go to around two second and make it 1x now you can see this is our logo rotation now let's make another okay now go to twist y 
go to the first frame select this press save select all of this keyframe from here then right click keyframe assistant make them to easy now click here and let's make it something like this Make sure you are on the first frame, then click on the twist Y, go to around 1 second and make it to 60, then go to 2 second and make it 0. Now you can press U. and select this keyframe make it to easy is also make this to easy is okay now if you want to make another rotation then go to one second forward then select all of this keyframe press ctrl c and press ctrl b then select this keyframe and change this below to one then go to here and change this below to okay now here select this element again go to effect and control search for cc light swipe apply it go to here and change its light color to something like this then go to here create a keyframe on center then go to few frames forward and make it something like this okay our animation is almost complete now let's create a background if you want to render with a background or if you don't want any background then you can just render it as it is so i want the background on it so let's create a new solid Rename it to background. Place it below all of this layer. Then go to effect and preset, search for fill and apply color. So I'm going to use this color. And now let's see the preview. So this is the animation for today hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then make sure to like this video and share this video with a friend and if you are new to my channel then make sure to subscribe my channel so thank you so much for watching i'll be back with new tutorials soon till then take care